And speaking of the holidays, it is September 22nd, meaning it is the first day of fall. By now, you may have seen a few leaves changing color out there, but they're just getting started. Storm Team 2's Patrick Hammer turns over the science of fall foliage. September 22nd, it's a special day on the calendar because it marks the autumnal equinox, our first official sign of fall. And that's when leaves begin their seasonal color change. Now, how does this happen? It starts with the leaves themselves. There are four types of pigment in each leaf. Chlorophyll, which is green, xanthophylls, which is yellow, carotenoids, which is orange, and anthocyanins, which is red. In the spring and summer, leaves have a lot of chlorophyll, which makes them green. It also helps plants make energy with the sun through photosynthesis. But as we get closer to fall, there's less sunlight. In fact, over the next couple of weeks, we'll lose about two minutes of daylight per day as the earth moves around the sun. Sunset tonight will happen at 7, 12 p.m. Less sunlight signals the leaves to prepare for winter and stop making chlorophyll. So they begin to change to yellows, oranges, and reds. Sunlight isn't the only thing that affects changing colors. So does cooler temperatures. That has an effect on leaves too. Last year, our average temperature for the month of September was 73.3 degrees. Get this, it dropped to 59.2 in October. And that's a quick lesson in leaf science from me, meteorologist Patrick Hammer.